the first time we went out to Vasquez Rocks to shoot the first Cheyenne. And I had told them, I said, well, uh, uh, they wouldn't know about my experience riding the horses. And I said, well, I don't have a lot of experience riding horses. And they said, well, said, uh, <laughs> by the time you said, you'll only do a year of these. And then they, uh, uh, probably uh, the, the Cheyennes will end. And of course, they were doing King's Row and Casablanca. And they figured the other two would make it and the Western would last one year and that'd be the end of it. Said, it'll be a good experience for you. And they said uh, about the horses, uh, you'll either be a good rider or a dead one. And they laughed by the end of the year. There was a few times I wondered which one it was going to be. But uh, I know we went to Vasquez Rocks and part of the story called for me to ride through a narrow defile between some very high rocks. It was probably about five feet uh, to go through there. And uh, uh, so they told me, said, uh, Clint, uh, this old horse, uh, we never know what he was going to do. And when you go through that defile, bring your both both legs up around his shoulders, because now and then he'll try to ram somebody up against the side of the rock there. So that's exactly what I did, and it's a good thing I did it because he, the the old horse, thought I guess he was rammed my leg against the canyon wall there, and he mashed uh, the uh, canteen flat that was hanging on us saddle horn. But um, I just, I guess I just kind of fell into it. I just kind of tried to play it uh, as though uh, I got involved in the story. And there were times when I'd have to change horses simply because they'd have a long shot maybe of uh, Gary Cooper riding in beautiful country or whatever, which we couldn't go there. And then later they'd, they'd cut to a, a, a different scenery. But then I would have to wear the clothes, the clothes like he wore and ride a horse that looked like the one he was riding. Of course, that would be at a distance. But, uh, or maybe they, uh, I'm supposed to ride along a, a moving train and climb aboard the train. And uh, again, I'd have to wear the wardrobe that that person, whoever it was supposed to be, whether it was Cooper or J Jimmy Stewart or whoever. And uh, then I'd ride a different horse. Other than that, I, the horse that I rode was uh, a, a big sorrel, seven, er, six, 16 hands high. And I, what a wonderful animal. I could never have asked for a better horse. He made me look good. And uh, even though later on I rode him in, uh, uh, in the feature pictures that I made there, and we did some pretty fantastic runs where we'd be out in the desert there with a hundred uh, uh, Navajo chasing me, and I'd be pulling two pack horses, and I'm on Brandy, and they've got the camera car uh, over here on the road, and I'm over uh, here running like heck, and the Navajos are coming up behind me. And uh, I was going so fast, the camera car uh, had to get on the loudspeaker and say, Clint, you got to slow down. We can't keep up with you. But, uh, you know, and I was praying that uh, Brandy wouldn't run into a prairie dog hole or something there and, and uh, break his leg and maybe dump me.